Hey plant pals, it's Daniela here at California Carnivores and I'm gonna check on our Venus fly traps that are growing outdoors. So we're in zone 9B, which allows us to grow many of our plants outdoors, the temperate ones anyway, and that's a really lucky thing. But many of you grow your plants outdoors as well. And so you might be noticing that now here in September, many of your plants are starting to show signs of dormancy much like mine. So even though it's incredibly hot here in September still, the plants know, they always know, it's time to go dormant and they're starting to show those signs. So I thought today I would show you what my Venus fly traps look like outside so you can get an idea for what what is normal, you know, what does that dieback start to look like so you can kind of feel good about how your plants are looking and not freak out a little bit because I know that it can be really scary when you start to see major, major leaf dieback. Let's take a look at my Venus fly traps. All right, so here's a bunch of seed-grown Venus fly traps. So these are seed-grown, meaning that there's a lot of genetic diversity, and a lot of the traps are actually a little bit different, which is kind of fun, but they show you some thematic changes across the board, right? A lot of dyed back traps, a lot of blackened dyed back traps, and traps in the early stages of dying back. This is all totally healthy and normal, and you're gonna see this more and more and more as the winter time comes on. And as fall progresses, you're just gonna see lots of these traps turning black. They always start like this, slowly dive back, and they're just gonna keep doing that. And you might notice that the new traps that grow in are lower to the ground, maybe smaller, maybe fewer. That's totally normal. So don't worry if you see that, and you're gonna see lots and lots and lots of dyed back traps, like all of these, right? I'll come through and clean these up later on this year, but for now, they're all right. You'll also notice, actually, many of my plants are still catching and eating their, their flies, so there's no need to worry. If they're still catching and eating, just let them do that. No need to trim these back. Just leave them alone to do their thing. You can trim off all of the um, completely blackened and dead leaves, Usually, if you pull gently, they'll come out, but it's also good to trim them with scissors because if you pull too hard, you can pull the whole rhizome out of the soil. So this is all very normal. You also might notice if you have very green traps, they kind of get this um, sort of sooty mold. That's totally normal. Totally normal, nothing wrong with that. Just part of the process. So this is what mine look like in the early stages of dormancy. And every year when I see this, I can always tell that time of year even if it was 113 degrees a few days ago <laughs> it's just that time i hope this helps and you feel a little better about your fly traps and sorry about all of the ambient noise from the wind all right happy growing